All right, all right. I want to bring a close up of the Ducati Street Fighter V4. Just finished cleaning it up and polishing it, and just wanna, as I was cleaning it up, I just, you know, observed a few interesting things. So, this is really interesting and pretty cool. If you go here to the rear exhaust, right, you can see the blue, uh, the blue kind of uh, tinting happening on the exhaust which is i think is really really cool and that's happening by natural it's just you know naturally happening happening i didn't do any flames over the exhaust so it's just developed over time i've had this bike this street fighter v4 for about a year and a half and i've clocked about 8,000 miles this is a 2022 v4 i got the one with the stock so over the you know the last year and a half i believe that blue tinting has happened on its own which i think is really really cool so that's the header for the rear exhaust um you can't really see the front exhaust here but i'm pretty sure the front is also blue but it's all covered up here so you can't really see it but have a look at this bike man this is i think one of the most next to the panigale i think this is the second most attractive bike in the ducati range I think the Panigale is definitely better looking and then I would say this would be number two uh, and I was really thinking about getting the Panigale originally but but I'm glad I didn't get it I'm glad I got this because it's just too extreme you know the the, the position on the Panigale is just too extreme for me and I'm not getting any younger uh, maybe in, in spirit I'm getting younger but not enough you know physically so this has worked out fine for me. The seating position is really comfortable. And uh, and then that blue thing is pretty interesting. And it's, it's developed, it's gone even more blue over time. I love the single rear uh, wheel of the Ducati. I mean, look at how big this freaking tire. This tire here on the rear reminds me of the Bat, the Batman bike, right? It just feels that big. It's just like huge, huge. It's a really statement. Um, if I was to do an upgrade to this bike, I'll probably want to change the wheels, uh, you know, the bla from black to gold. I think if they went gold, the gold Macanini wheels, you know, they'd look really pop. I think that's probably what I'd want to do to the bike. And then I want to definitely get rid of that tail exhaust. I haven't had the chance to do it, but I think I might just take it to the dealership and have them do it for me. It'll be quicker. So I'll probably do that. But, you know, I just finished cleaning and polishing it up. Bike looks great and uh, i just wanted to bring you this close-up of the ducati street fighter v4 and the other thing i want to comment was um so i've got a standard suspension on this i didn't get for the electronic and the reason why i didn't get the electronic was it was too expensive for me you know it wasn't available and then i didn't want to price the five 5k premium so i just took with the standard i just wanted to get into the v4 entry range and i'm pretty happy with it I've dialed the suspension in, it works beautiful for me. And it's okay that I have a non-electronic because on my KTM Super Duke, which is parked right there, I have a full automatic suspension. So I'm glad I have one manual and one full auto on the KTM SDR. So anyway, that's all I wanted to bring right now. Cheers.